hello viewers welcome back to another section of my youtube channel tutorial in this video i'm going to show you mathematical induction which is represented in the summation notation we dealt with summation in our previous video please subscribe if this is the first time you are visiting this channel so i'm going to show you how we tackle the summation notation in this video for mathematical induction so I said in every summation, you are just summing numbers from the minimum point to the maximum point. And this defines how you should sum it. So you have i, so you are just summing the numbers as it says from 1 to n. So it is given as 1 plus 2. So 1 to n plus 3 plus 4 to any n. It is unspecific. And this is equal to n, n plus 1, all on 2. So we have now broken it down to the series 4, which we can apply mathematical induction easily. So these are our statements. We have to prove that this is equal for all natural numbers. When you sum 1, 2, 3 to any n, it's given by the number of terms, multiplying the number of terms plus 1, all on 2. So first of all, let's see the base case of our induction. For base case, we are proving that n equals 1 is true. So let's see. When I sum the first one, it's 1. So 1 on the left side is equal to on the right side. I'll have 1, open bracket, 1 plus 1, all on 2. This is going to give me 2 on 2, which is also 1. 1 is equal to 1. Our base case is true. We move to our induction hypothesis. So our induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. For this step, we are interested in assuming that the statement P of N is true for N equals K. So at a point N equals K, where N is equal to K, our statement is true. For that reason, our statement becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus k. Wherever you see n become k, then it's given as k, k plus 1, all on 2. Then we move to the inductive step, which is the main focus of mathematical induction. At this step, we have to prove that our statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Hence, we are going to have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus k plus k plus 1 itself because we are moving to the next step. should be given us wherever you see k to be k plus 1, multiplying k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2 right so our goal is to make sure that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side from our inductive hypothesis we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to k is given by this i can replace everything here by that so everything here will give me k k plus 1 all on 2 plus k plus 1 here is equal to my k plus 1 then this place will give me k plus 2 all over 2. So, let's see. Let me solve this. So, I get k open bracket k plus 1, right, over. This will be 2. Let's multiply this. So, 2 times this will give me plus 2k plus 2 all on 2 is equal to k plus 1 k plus 2 all on 2 and at this point I'm going to get k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2 all over 2 which is equal to this place so I'll get k squared plus k plus 2k then plus 2 all on 2. So you can see that my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. Hence, our statement is true for 
oro sorry for all natural numbers because if k is true and we found out that k plus one is true meaning if k is six seven will be true if k is eight nine will be true if k is thousand thousand and one will be true and it is true for every natural number thank you for watching in this video hope seeing the next video comment subscribe share and like